Hi, I'm Charlotte and I'm Precious and we're here at Reese Heath Zoo to talk to you about ringtail lemurs. The island of Madagascar broke away from mainland Africa approximately 140 million years ago and is now home to thousands of animal and plant species that are unique to the island. Lemurs arrived on the island around 60 million years ago via rafts of matted vegetation and because of lack of predation they evolved into over 100 different taxa. The ring-tailed lemur, Lemur cata, are probably one of the most distinguishable lemurs due to their black and white ringed tail and their feature as King Julian in the film Madagascar. Ring-tailed lemurs are classed under the subsection of Lemuridae or the Prosimian primate family. They are quadrupedal using all four limbs to move from branch to branch. However, out of all the lemur species, they are the most ground dwelling. Lemur cata are multi male, multi female species that live in groups of up to 27 individuals. They are female dominant, but males have a linear hierarchy for intersexual competition. Females assert their dominance over the males through a variety of agnostic behaviours such as grabbing, chasing, lunging, and biting. Males disperse from their natal groups at around three to four years of age and will move groups every three years, whereas females tend to stay with their original natal groups. Yeah. Vocalisations and scent marking are the predominant defence mechanisms used by Lima Cata, with the females of the group taking the main role in primary defence. Lemur cata have 22 different vocalisations and male lemurs use vocal howls to advertise their presence to nearby rifling groups. Male lemur cata have three species specific scent glands which are used in a distinct manner. These are wrist marking, shoulder rubbing and genital marking. Females also use genital marking to maintain and establish intrasexual dominance hierarchies and advertise their reproductive state. The annual breeding season for lemur cata is in April and May. Females are in oestrus for between 3 and 24 hours and will often mate with multiple males. Female lemur cata have a gestation period of 134 to 138 days and will usually rear only one offspring. In captivity there are higher rates of multiple offspring, however the cause of this is unknown. Lemur cata are best described as opportunistic omnivores. In the wild they will eat a wide variety of fruit and vegetables, leaves, flowers and occasionally invertebrates, with seasonal foods including the fruits and flowers of the tamarind tree. During the driest seasons or in the driest ranges of the habitats they can obtain water from succulent plants such as aloe. There are a diverse range of husbandry techniques that can be employed in the captive environment. Enclosure maintenance techniques include weekly full cleans, daily spot checks and use of sieves to remove uneaten food and faecal matter. Disinfectants should not be used on a regular basis due to natural scent marking behaviour. The removal of scents may cause stress to lemurs, removing one of the main sources of olfactory communication. Fresh water should be provided daily and the lemur cattle should be fed according to the establishment's diet sheets. In captivity, lemur cattle will, will be provided with a wide range of fruit and vegetables, locally sourced browse and some manufactured primate pellet. It is important to feed lemur cattle with as natural diet as possible. Unnatural sources of food have been proven to be stressful for animals in captivity. To enrich the lives and increase the welfare of captive lemur cata, it is as important that suitable enrichment is provided. Providing enrichment reduces the likelihood of development of stereotypical behaviours. Common forms of enrichment include puzzle feeders, scatter feeding, ropes, tyres and substrate feeding. Providing enrichment that requires manipulation or adding browse to feeding boxes has a great effect upon activity levels in lemur cata. Providing a variety of feeders allows lemur cata to use their cognitive abilities to retrieve food, keeping them mentally stimulated in captivity. Scatter feeding encourages natural behaviour, however it has been found that this method of food provision does not allow the captive lemur cata to intake the correct amount of fruit and vegetables as they often eat preferred items. Environmental enrichment used in captivity includes ropes, bottles, tyres and scents. Fixed perches and cargo nets can make a more complex apparatus for lemur cata to move around on, whilst branches and beams make a seemingly small enclosure a lot larger. Olfactory communication is very important for lemur cata, and so providing novel scents or scents of other individuals can help stimulate scent marking behaviour. The lemur cata are classed as near threatened on the IUCN's red list. Therefore, it may prove vital to set up projects now to reduce the likelihood of numbers depleting. The main threats to lemur cata include deforestation and slash and burn agriculture with the increase in demand for bushmeat rising. 
In situ and ex situ efforts play a vital role in conservation. Current projects in place for Limakata include the Mayaka City Reserve and the Berenti Reserve in Madagascar, which both hold free ranging populations. Limakata are relatively easy to breed in captivity, with around 2,000 of them in zoos worldwide, proving that conservation efforts are working. We hope you enjoyed this presentation. And now, back to us in the studio! Do I like to? I think I did. I like. I like. Wait. What about wait? They. They. They did. They as well. Okay.